Hello students, today we'll see one more very important part of the kinetics that is Newton's second law. Newton's second law is what actually? The resultant force in the direction of motion, a total force, we may write resultant force R is equal to mass into acceleration. Mass into acceleration. If suppose the object moves in only x direction then in that case summation of the forces in x direction is equal to m a x and if it is in y direction then summation f y is equal to m a y if object is moving in only x direction then a y is zero and that a x becomes a means summation f x is equal to m a also so these things you have to remember and whenever we have to solve the problems of newton's second law second law then how to solve it generally the first step is what free body diagram free body diagram and then you use if object is moving horizontally many times then summation f y is equal to zero uh, a y it is equal to zero because a y is zero and then you can use summation f x is equal to zero in many examples these steps you have to follow and again the same problems can be solved by many examples can be solved by work energy principle or <coughs> work energy principle or impulse momentum principle so in the next video i will show the same problems by some uh, other methods also now very first example on this we will see how to solve it the example is what? The system shown in figure is initially at rest. Neglecting the axial friction and mass of the pulley determine the acceleration of the block, block A. Now when we have to draw, the first step is what? Draw the free body diagram. So this is the object. We have to neglect friction everything. That means your BD will be what? Your BD is, this is the block A. block e and see that so whatever this tension is there if you cut this cable neglecting the axial friction means throughout this tension will be same that whatever that force applied is there it is going to be 1000 newton 1000 newton and the weight of this a it will be what one nine 1962 newton then because of this what happens the natural motion of this this is this weight is more than 1000 newton hence this object moves in downward direction it moves in downward direction then how we can use the equation of motion or newton second law here by newton's second law what it is so in the vertical direction we can write summation f y is equal to m into a because it is not moving at all in horizontal direction whatever that a y is going to be there it is going to be a then what are the forces in the direction of motion actually wait now we have considered downward direction as po positive one nine six two minus this tension is upward is equal to the <coughs> mass of this block is 200 into E and directly we will get the answer A. So it is 962 divided by 200 4.81 meters per second square. 4.81 meters per second square. So, this is the very simple, means this problems if we know these are very 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 simple. See how much length of this example is there. Then the next example, we will see uh, the second example of Newton's second law. The 50 kg crate moves along the floor with an initial speed of 7 meters per second at x is equal to 0. Means 
initially when it is at this place. The coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.4. Calculate the time required for the crate to come to rest and the corresponding distance x traveled. Then how we can solve this example? First step is what? Free body diagram. How to draw the free body diagram? So whatever this 50 kg block is there, it is like this. And from this surface, there will be a normal reaction. Rn, vertically upward. And its weight is going to be 50 kg. Means 50 g Newton. Or we can write 50 g Newton. Or you can write 490.5 Newton. So it is up to you. <laughs> so the motion is towards right. Motion is towards right. Correct. And C. The friction will be in this direction. And friction will be. Always directly you write mu. Mu k means 4. Rn. So I will suggest to write like this only. From this what we can do. So if you see this free body diagram. If we use the Newton se second law. In y direction. Then it is going to be summation f y. An object is not moving in y direction. So that m a y. Means a y is 0 hence it is 0. So what I will get. Rn. Minus. 50 g. It is equal to 0. Means Rn is equal to. 50 g. 50 g or Rn is equal to 490.5 490.5 g means 9.81 into 50 so this is Rn and once we get Rn then what we can do we can use Newton's second law in x direction then in that case what is it summation fx is equal to m into a then which are the forces in x direction only this frictional force is there but it is opposite hence 0.4 rn is equal to 0.4 n rn is equal to mass 50 into a then say that minus 0.4 so here either you can write 490.5 or 50g. 50 into 9.81. 50g. It is equal to 50a. This 50, 50 will get cancelled. And what will get? a is equal to minus 9.81. It is minus 3.924. This indicates that it is a retardation. Means somewhere it will stop. This is the retardation. And <coughs> if A is there like this. And before that, if A is constant, we can use equations of motion. With an initial velocity is given. U is equal to 7 meters per second towards right. Then again what is given? Calculate the time required for the crate to come to rest and corresponding distance x travel then if a we are knowing then initial velocity we are knowing and final velocity is what it is zero because comes to rest then from this what we can do v is equal to v is equal to v is equal to u plus 80 v is 0 u is 7 minus 3.924 into t and from this we will get time we will get time that 7 divided by 3.924 it is 1.78 seconds yes or yes you can write this is the time 
required for the crate to come to rest and second is what x distance traveled so it is going to be use again when acceleration is constant you can use equations of motion v square is equal to u square plus twice ax now here instead of yes x notation is used 0 square is equal to 7 square minus because a is negative into 3.924 x and from this we will get x 49 divided by 2 into 3.924 it is 6.24 meters six point means like this in a very simple way we can solve this example now we will see the third example a crate having a mass of 60 kg fall horizontally up the back of a truck which is traveling at 80 km per hour determine the coefficient of friction between the road and the crate if the crate slides 45 meters on the ground with no tumbling along the road before coming to rest so what is happening when this truck is moving on this side this crate falls behind it and because of that it slides it slides for 45 meters on the ground and by using this we have to calculate mu then first thing is what so what is given the mass of the crate it is 60 kg yeah. initial speed of the truck or even though that blocks falls on the road in that case also yeah in that case also so that uh, it will not be like this this block or this crate may fall like this on the ground and then later on it will go on sliding means initial velocity of block or truck it will be same and 80 km ph 80 km ph means what in terms of meters per second it is going to be 80 divided by 3.6 directly you will get 22.22 meters per second the conversion and <coughs> finally it will come to rest means v is 0 and s or x x is 45 meters and we have to calculate mu k and for getting the mu k also even though if initial velocity is known final velocity is known uh, distance is known then by using this first what we can do you will get a v square is equal to u square plus twice a s v square 0 square is equal to 22.22 square plus 2 into a into 45 and then from this a will get definitely it is going to be negative it is going to be divided by 90 it is 4 5.48 5.48 and it's negative negative 5.48 meters per second this is the acceleration and then for getting the coefficient of friction what we will have to do draw the free body diagram so whatever that block is there so it is moving like this it will move in this direction of the truck only and this it is going to be 98.1 newton 10 kg 98.1 newton it is going to be rn and if it is moving truck is moving means that crate is also moving towards this side 
then friction will be opposite to this mu rl and we have to get this mu we have to get this mu first what we have to do so you use newton's second law in y direction summation f y is equal to 0 because a y is 0 then i'll get rn minus 9.81 it is equal to 0 rn is equal to 98.1 newton this is equation 1 now if you use newton's second law in y x direction summation fx is equal to mass into acceleration summation fx is what mu into rn is equal to mass into acceleration mu we have to calculate or even though you can consider it is mu k coefficient of kinetic friction mu k into rn 98.1 is equal to 10 into a 10 into a a is how much minus 5.1 4, 8. Then from this, what we'll get? 54.8, 54.8 divided by 98.1. It is 0 0.558. Mu k is 0 0.558. This is the answer. Now we will see one more example on this. The conveyor belt is designed to transport packages of various weights as shown in figure. Each 10 kg package has a coefficient of kinetic friction mu k is 0.15. If the speed of the conveyor belt is 5 meters per second and then it suddenly stops, determine the distance the package will slide on the belt before coming to rest. Means actually in this example what is given? So, mass of the package, it is 10 kg. Its initial speed will be the speed of the conveyor. Means U is 5 meters per second. 5 meters per second towards left. V, it is 0. It is going to stop. Find determine the distance the package will slide on the belt coming to rest means that yes we have to get or x we have to get and for doing this we'll have to calculate a also we have to calculate a also then first thing is what draw the free body diagram of 10 kg block this is the free body diagram means making free from the belt 10 kg means 98.1 Newton Rn upward correct this block is moving towards left this is this is the direction and frictional force it will be towards right and it is mentioned mu k 0 0.1 0 0.15 Rn then what we can do so <coughs> if we use the Newton second law in y direction summation f y is equal to 0. Why 0? A y 0. This block is not moving vertically. R n minus 98.1. It is equal to 0. Means R n is equal to 98.1 Newton. So this is equation 1. And now if we use the <coughs> if we use the Newton second law in x direction summation f x is equal to m a or m a x but a y is 0 hence it is a even though this object is moving towards left now just we will consider this right direction as positive correct then what what i will get uh, not positive because motion is in this direction and friction is opposite to it so summation motion uh, the direction in uh, means if it is moving towards right this will be positive opposite to it it will be negative minus 0 0.15 rn this is the force in the direction of motion but it is opposite is equal to mass into acceleration minus 0 0.15 into 
98.1 is equal to 10 a and we will get a 9.81 into 15. It is 1.47 minus 1.47 meters per second square. And now A is constant. Then we can use equation of motion. So equation of motion how we can use? V square is equal to U square plus twice A S. So that will get the distance how much? When it starts, suddenly belt suddenly stops, correct? Then in that case, <coughs> its initial speed is the speed of the belt and finally it will stop. So V is equal to 0, U is equal to 5 square. So now A is minus, that's why I am putting minus sign. 2 into 1.47 into yes. And from this, yes we'll get. And yes is going to be. 8.49 or it is almost 5. So it is going to be 8.5 meter or 49 meter. This is the distance that package will slide. So like this by very simple way we can solve the problems of Newton's second law. These are not difficult. So mostly in the next video the same problem I will show by work energy principle also you will get the same answers thank you